You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker in True Life Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. When the prophet looked and he got another message from heaven, he said, daughter, go in peace. And the Bible says, her confidence, she got happy when the word came for her from the prophet that everything is all right. If I tell you everything is all right, I said everything is all right. If there is 
teach us. The God of all creation, Lord, who made the world in the scriptures, teach us. Amen. Praise God. Thank God for these uh, testimonies, these offerings. Amen. It enabled us as a small gathering, a small remnant church, is able to, to do what we have done, and that is to have churches in Savannah, Amen. churches in Atlanta, Amen. churches in Spartanburg, Amen. and we still got that church in Savannah, Michigan. We do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Does that take a whole lot? It just takes the faithful, the remnant, those who have escaped this world and have taken on the responsibility of serving God from a true heart. Amen. I thank God that God called me a long time ago Amen. into holiness. I did not always understand, but I always obey. Right. It's not about always understanding, Amen. but it is about obedience to the Word of God. And we're in a day and time now, you got all kind of churches, all kind of preachers, but how many are standing up and defending the faith once delivered? I want to take my main text and I do again give honor to our great God, Jesus, the creator of all things. John 1 and 10, he was in the world and the world was made by him. Genesis 1 and 1 says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So again, I testify for the record that the same Jehovah God of the Old Testament is the same Jesus Christ of the New Testament. We can only have one creator and one father. Hallelujah, Malachi 2 and 10, have we not all one Father, hath not one God created us? So I am Jesus only, and I'm not ashamed to say so. I serve one God, and Jesus only. When they were at the Mount of Transfiguration, Peter said, let us make a three uh, tabernacles, three altars, and uh, I believe Jesus said, well, you got two too many. Because when the cloud lifted, man. Scripture said, I beheld no man but Jesus only. Yeah. God spoke. But when the dust lifted, when the cloud lifted, hallelujah, I beheld no man but Jesus only. Again, I am Jesus only. Praise God. Yeah. I'm going to take again my main text. And I'm not going to be here long, but I, I have a word I want to share with you tonight. And I hope that you are prayerful and attentive. Again, we are surrounded by the spirit of unbelief. When I came up in the Holiness Church, people believed that prayer could deliver. People didn't rush too fast to a doctor. And then I'm 82 years old. I've had five heart attacks. Stomach condition I suffered with 10 and a half years. Prostate trouble. Hallelujah. High blood pressure. Diabetes, if I didn't say so. And I walked out to Veterans Hospital in 1972. I got in a prayer line. Okay. Hallelujah. They believed in the power of prayer. I followed a leader who believed in the power of prayer. Never went to a doctor. Hallelujah. Praise God all of his anointed time. Yes, Lord. And I can truthfully say, I don't take no medication and no order, no doctor, Amen. because I walk by faith. And I believe the word of God. I believe in the preached word that was delivered years ago. Hallelujah to God is still a healer. If you call him the name of Jesus and not doubt in your heart, God will do what he said he'll do. He'll heal your body. He'll bring you out from nowhere and place you somewhere. He'll place your feet on a solid foundation. But God did some soul that will stand up and be counted in special these evil times. God. Churches where two men can marry each other. Churches where two lesbians can marry each other. Shame, shame, shame. A church right here in Atlanta, Georgia, where you got a homosexual pastor married to a homosexual so-called wife. Shame, shame, shame. Whatever happened to the word of God? I mean, this preach for money and not for the salvation of a soul. That's why God raised me up and set a prophet in his name. How do you deliver the people? Them that will believe and walk by faith. Those who have followed the pathway of righteousness. But Jesus, holy name, said, that's why I'm saying. It takes the individuality. As I said last night in Savannah, the individuality of one soul. 
to make a commitment to God. Sometimes you can't rest on other people's testimony. Sometimes you gotta have a testimony for yesterday. Sometimes, amen, uh, you can't look for your brother and sister to help you down this highway. Sometimes you got to reach back and get the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And let him lead you, guide you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Let me get in my text here. Job, chapter 13. I want to connect this with Malachi 3 and 16. And Job, I want you to take note right in verse 15. 13, uh, chapter 13, verse uh, 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. Uh -huh. He also shall be my salvation, for a hypocrite shall not come before him. Now, Job is trying to testify before some so called friends. Yeah. You know, everybody is not your friend. Yeah. A person who's not water baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost, can't be too close to you. Amen. Now, remember, all men come with you, but none too much. Hallelujah. When you don't have the Holy Ghost, you're not walking in the ways of godliness. I mean, ain't too much you can tell me. Amen. You smoking cigarettes and drinking liquor ain't too much fellowship we can have together. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't believe in God eternal whose revealed name is Jesus. I mean, we can't have too much of a conversation together. Job had to have his own testimony. And when his friends came against him, when his wife turned against him, he said, though he slay me, then would I hold on to my testimony. Job never sinned with his mouth. He never condemned God for the what he was going through. I'm trying to let you know, even though some of you are going through the valley right now, even though some of you are burned down in your heart, I want you to know that God have not turned his back on you. Don't you never leave God. Don't you leave the holiness church. Don't you leave sanctification. Stay in the church of God. And I promise you one thing. Oh, hallelujah. God has never forsaken his faithful, and he never will. Give me Malachi 3.16. Right, right, prophet. They that fear the Lord. They that fear the Lord. Speak often one to another. And the Lord hearkened and heard. And the Lord what? When they came collectively together in the church, they prayed and worshiped God together. And the Bible said God heard them. God hears us today, though we may not be many in number. If we have the Holy Ghost in us and have purpose in our heart, we want to obey every precept that come out of the Word of God. Don't you know God always is going to have you a sanctified church somewhere? It may not be a whole lot, but it's going to be a church somewhere that will stand up and defend the faith once you live. I heard you say, now you need for me to write up to you that you earnestly defend the faith for delivered to the church.
take sisters in the bathroom and show the scar where God had took that tumor out yeah. and covered it over. Yeah. Left the scar for a testimony. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you what God will do yeah. with somebody that just stand by faith. Yeah. Church, this thing is real. Yeah. I'm a living testimony is real. But you got to believe it. When I said somebody's healed here today, if we step out on faith, I guarantee you next week, God gonna give you a testimony. This is an individual walk. Yes. You heard me say it many times. Sometimes you just can't lean on somebody else. Sometimes you can't always lean on the preacher. Maybe the preacher would understand you sometimes. You know, Hannah was stricken with a heavy burden, and the preacher thought she was drunk. Yeah. Hallelujah. But she told the pre prophet, I'm not drunk. I'm just going through the family. Yeah. Hallelujah. And when the prophet looked, and he got another message from heaven, he said, daughter, go in peace. Yeah. And the Bible says, her confidence She got happy when the word came for her from the prophet that everything is all right. If I tell you everything is all right, I said everything is all right. Yeah. Hallelujah, I'll tell you what God said. By his stripes you are healed. Yeah. Hallelujah. They still on it back in the old days. Yeah. Hallelujah. But it takes an individual to believe the word of God. You gotta believe this thing. Yeah. I'm trying to pump in you some faith that is not being taught today, but it's the same Jesus yesterday, today, and forever. Oh. He never changes. People try to change the word of God, but God never changes. Yeah. You can. Is believing yes. and begin to walk by faith. We are a small number, yes. but God has blessed us. Open up the shadow project. I said that next. Yes. And baseball, no matter what the economy boils out into, we always gonna have a place to lay our head. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. When God opened up a door for this church, there's a reason for this church door being open. Oh, they may not pack in like you do with Creflo Dollar right. and T.D. Jakes. Yeah. A man who said David was a sodomite. Yeah. A man who said Ruth and, and Naomi had a lesbian relationship. Yeah. Shame on you, T.D. Jakes. Yeah. And I call you out. Yeah. I call you out now come against a prophet in the Lord's house. Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't fear what man can do. I preach the truth. And I'm trying to give water to an individual viewing by way of YouTube. I'm saying to my YouTube viewers, it's time for you to stop vacillating. You've got to come into the remnant church. God is getting ready to split the sky and there can't be no compromise in you because God is not God of, God of compromise. God is a God who gives you the spirit for you to make a decision of your own and come out of darkness into this marvelous light. You don't look at how many is here. You look at whether or not you're here or not. Praise God. Stay in holiness. Don't let nobody trick you out of holiness. Stay in the right way without holiness. No man shall see the Lord. But again, it's an individual one. You have to believe this thing. You can't. Job couldn't see God, but he knew that God was real. Yeah. That's why he made the testimony, I know my Redeemer lived. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? He said, I know. He didn't say, I think. He didn't say, maybe. It's a possibility. He said, I know my Redeemer lived. And he patted his feet, praise God, and his friends turned against me. Wife turned against me. Why don't you kill yourself? He said, I'm on way here. To my help. See, I know him was on the way. Well, I know him was on the way. But one man made a testimony, and God put it in the book for a testimony to you Amen. on the individual plane. Let me close with the word of Bishop Johnson out of Philadelphia. Y'all heard some of you heard the testimony. The little boy was saying in his kite. Uh -huh. Old man walked by and said, Little boy, why are you standing up into the sky? Little boy said, well, sir, I'm selling my kite. Old man said, little boy, I looked up. I don't see nothing up there. How do you know it's still there? He said, well, sir, I got a spring. And every now and then I feel it pulling. Yeah. I, mean, I feel something pulling on me. You can't see God, but every now and then you ought to feel something pulling on you. I mean, I'm trying to let you know God is alive. God is well, but you got to believe God in your heart. You got to receive God in your heart.
Love Talk Radio. 